Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Ron of the Road to Damascus Church. I'm here with a Thursday evening devotional. Uh, our, our regular person is unable to attend, so you get me. So I got something a little bit last minute that I threw together, uh, but I believe that it'll still bless somebody. Uh, because right now, I think we can all agree, we are living in some pretty perilous times. That uh, Some people might say uncertain times, uh, some people may say scary times, but either way it goes, I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day. Uh, once upon a time, we thought we were only going to be in shelter in place for a couple of weeks and everything was going to supposedly go back to normal. Uh, then we find out we got to stay a little longer and then it continues to go on and it continues to go on. And we also heard people say that somehow when it warms up, it was going to magically disappear. And yet now it's burning up hot over 100 degrees in some areas of the country. And we got spikes of COVID-19 going through the roof. People are being hospitalized. I've read and seen in the news how many people are being or how many states and cities are now bringing in refrigerated trucks uh, to hold the, the dead bodies just the same as what, was, as what was happening to New York in the very beginning. They're bringing in uh, refrigerated trucks because there were so many people dying. And so we went from this position of watching people get sick and watching people get die and think uh, watching people die and thinking things were going to get better only to see now we're having within this first wave, a whole new resurgence happening and a whole lot more people are being diagnosed with it. And we're seeing a whole uh, group of people dying again from this disease. And it leads us to be uncertain because we have businesses closed down and businesses open up and now businesses are closing down again. Some of the businesses that have been around for a while have filed for bankruptcy. We have this controversy on businesses that were receiving relief and you're wondering why are these businesses getting relief when people are, are literally starving in the street. We don't know what's going to happen day to day. We, people are relying on unemployment uh, people are hanging on to their jobs by a thread. Some employers that care about their people are trying to keep people employed as long as they can. And we are still just dealing with a lot of uncertainty with all of this because we just don't know. And so it really is incumbent upon us as believers to not be the ones who lose our heads in these times, but remember to hold fast to God and remember to trust God and to remember to have faith in God in these times so that we can be an example for those who do not have faith. Uh, I was drawn to uh, the Old Testament. One of the, I, I particularly love dealing with the prophets in particular, but in this particular case for a last minute by, uh, devotional, it came up with the prophet Nahum, and this is in the Old Testament. This is Nahum chapter one, verse seven. And he says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows who, those who trust in him. And what I want to do is encourage you today, whether you're a new believer, whether you're not a believer, or where you, whether you're a seasoned believer, but to remember that these words that Nahum said, that God is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. So what we're experiencing right now, the uncertainty of COVID-19, the uncertainty of whether you're going to uh, contract the disease or not, dealing with loved ones getting this disease and pulling through and some are not, there is this day of trouble. Bills are coming due. People are being evicted. Courts are not as lenient as they were when this thing first happened. People are actually being evicted from homes because they haven't been able to pay rent. Uh, mortgages are being foreclosed upon. These are some times of trouble that people are dealing with. And he says, the God knows those who trust in him. When he wrote that, those words, the God knows those, that means God can separate and distinguish between his followers and those who don't follow. In the New Testament, he said he would separate the goat uh, from the lamb, the, the sheep from the, lamb, uh, from the goats, because he knows who's who. He knows the people who have had faith. So it gives us that, this idea, this comfort, that even in the time of trouble, we are dealing with an all-powerful and all-knowing God who knows those who trust in him. So my word for you is to remember to trust in God because he knows who you are. He knows you by your name. He said in Jeremiah that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. 
This, this is a God who is wise beyond anything we can comprehend. And despite anything that is happening in the world, despite the darkness and the, the trouble that we're in, he still knows you. So rest assured tonight, then understand whenever, if you're watching this live or if you're watching this later on, that understand that God knows you. And because he knows you, he is going to be there. He's going to be your stronghold in the time of trouble. That's all I got for you today. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you for this opportunity that we can come together and communicate and be together in the cyber sanctuary, that we can feast on your word even just for 10 minutes. Lord, we thank you for these times that we're living in that causes us to really look at where our faith is rooted. Do we have faith in you? Do we truly trust in you, God? Do we truly believe the words that we say we believe? But because we do, Lord, you know us. And it is comforting to me, and it should be comforting to all those who are listening, that when your God knows you, that you don't have anything to worry about just the same as I know my children, the same as I know my wife, the same as way as I know my, husband, my, my, my mother and father, God knows us. He is not going to leave us alone. He is not going to leave us to die. He is not going to leave us to perish. He loves us too much to let these bad things to happen and not let us experience his presence and his peace. So God, we ask that you come and touch these hearts today, that people will be reassured and reaffirmed that because they have faith in you, that you do know them. Thank you, God, for knowing us. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your grace. And thank you for your mercy. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus Christ's name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Hey. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up, remember the Proverbs challenge. This is my reminder. We are on day 16, so we should be on Proverbs 16. And if you fault, fault it, don't worry about it. Today's of uh, July 16th. Just read Proverbs 16 and do the same thing tomorrow. And remember, let us know that you're following along. Let us know that you've been reading and post your favorite verse or verses that have had impact on you on our site to let us know what part of Proverbs has moved you because we need the wisdom of God more so than ever. But anyway, follow up, let us know, keep reading, keep studying, keep fasting. This is Pastor Ron signing off. And as always, I love you and there ain't nothing you can do about it.